Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am B, and this is Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for all of the Earth signs for the B Weeklies uh, series, and it goes from the 17th of this month until the 1st of August. Okay, and um, this is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Sun sign, moon sign, rising sign. Um, if you have Venus or Mars in your natal chart in any of these signs as well, you may want to listen to this as it relates to your love life. Okay, just want to let you guys know that I am live for uh, doing personal readings. So if you would like a personal reading with me, I will put the link below. It will go directly to my website and you can go to the scheduling uh, page and you can select everything online. I've got a new scheduling platform that I'm using. Okay. The other thing is I will continue to put up the uh, Gumroad videos for the extended readings as well. And so please just be aware of that particular uh, service offering. And I do appreciate all of you that have bought those readings from me. I am still working on platform modification. So uh, please be aware of that as well. The other thing that I would also like to say to all of you is um, a big thanks and a big shout out to all of my supporters, all of my likes, shares, subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Also, if you do subscribe, please make sure that you are checking the notification button or a little bell that is on that notification because if you don't click that, you won't get the uploads. You won't get those automatically uh, to your inbox. So please be aware of that as well. Um, I have my opinions on why that was uh, initiated, but I will keep those to myself. All right, guys, let's get started with Capricorns. Hi, Capricorns, how are you? So Capricorns, what energies are going on for you for um, the next couple weeks, next 14 days or so? I hope you all are doing well. So what are the general energies surrounding Capricorn? There's your general energies. What energies are affecting these particular energies at the present time? What are the energies affecting this particular type of general energy for Capricorns? There it is. And what is the outcome for Capricorns regarding um, this particular type of energy? There is the outcome. And what do we have going on as it relates to your advice, Capricorns? What is your advice? What is your advice, Capricorn? What is your advice? There is your advice. All right, Capricorns, what do we got going on for the general energies for you for the next couple weeks? Capricorns, you do have the Nine of Cups. This is beautiful energy. This is a wish granted. This is also be careful what you wish for. Very important for you guys to understand that particular type of energy. For a lot of you Capricorns out there, you could be going to parties. You could be hosting people at your home. You could be, um, people could be hosting you at their home. For some Capricorns, you might be drinking just a little bit too much. So please be aware of that as well. Somebody around you might be drinking a little bit too much as well. This also has the energy of kind of being on your own um, in, in a sense, okay? It's, it's kind of like you are waiting for everybody to arrive and you've got all these cups set up, but you're not getting anybody to show up or, or something like that. So for some of you, you may have expected news, communication, or something like that from somebody and it's potentially not coming. And um, maybe you had your house set up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna invite this person over and we're gonna have a good time. And they decide to cancel or they decide, no, I won't be able to join you for this particular get together. So that could be what's going on. For some of you Capricorns, you might have a birthday that's going on or there could be a child that has a birthday um, in your life right now. There could be a celebration of some sort. But overall, this is really good energy. I would just make sure that you watch your drinking. Don't drink too much. For others of you, there's also an egotistical type of energy um, around you as well. So um, please be aware of that. I have to give both sides of this because it's very important for the appropriate message to come across, okay? But overall, it's kind of like a wish has been granted and um, now you're kind of just kind of sitting in that wish or you're sitting in that particular type of energy and overall, you know, you're kind of like reflecting on it and you're kind of like waiting to see what's going to transpire now. 
So what do we have going on with how the energies, uh, the energies affecting this nine of cups? Okay, this is, this is what I was picking up. There is an energy around you that is energy of regret and remorse. And this particular type of energy is, could potentially be with a relationship. This could be with um, you thinking that you could have had your cake and eat it too kind of energy. And what happened was um, something was found out, something was you know, uh, revealed, and now you are by yourself. Um, and this is kind of like, you know, you're by yourself and you're, you know, you're at home and, and you're drinking a lot, you know, or, or, or there could be something where you regretted making a decision that you made. And it may have been made while over wine, over drinking. You may have gotten into a situation where you got um, intimate with somebody or um, it was something that kind of got a little bit out of hand. You know, you never had any intention of being with that person, but now this person is like on you, like, you know, like, how do I want to say this in, in the best way, but like stink on, you know, they're, they're not leaving, okay? That's, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm sensing. So basically what happened here is there was something that was very toxic and you decided to move forward in that toxicity, and now you are kind of in this position of wanting to be alone or you know, wanting to kind of you know, look into the situation um, relative to you know, why did I do that? Why, why, why did I think I could get away with that? I don't know why that's coming up for some of you Capricorns, but um, there, there's something going on here. Now this could be somebody around you where, you know, they may have let you down, okay, and now you're like, okay, now that I know where I stand with this person, I am, I'm going to be on my own, I'm going to do my own thing, I'm going to party with my friends that support me, and I'm not going to go back to this toxic relationship. For others of you Capricorns out there, this could be somebody around you that found out something that you did or found out something um, from, you know, maybe a friend, it could have happened at a party, okay? It could have happened at a gathering, at a celebration. And this person finds out something that you've been doing and what happened was they no longer want to be with you or maybe it was that, that episode that you had with this other person where, you know, the, the energy and the fire was high and, you know, you were, you were kind of dating a couple people and you had your mind on one person and you're like, I really want to make this work. I really want to do this. But you were still kind of holding on from a relationship from the past and one thing led to another and you ended up with this person from your past. And what happened um, in an intimate manner and what happened is, you know, this person could have spilled the beans. This person could have revealed something, exposed something. And now the person that you really wanted to be with is saying, no more. I, I have no desire to be with you. This is toxic for me. This is way too much drama. You know, just get on your horse and, and you can leave now because I have no desire to be part of this toxic energy. I have no desire to be your friend. I have no desire to even spend time with you. I have no desire to answer your texts. I have no desire to give you the time of day. Now, granted, Capricorn, this could be happening. You know, you could be doing this to somebody else or somebody else could be doing this to you. Remember, the energies go both ways. But I am sensing something came out during a celebration, during a party. It led to massive regret. And now either you're alone or somebody else is alone. And, it, and honestly, Capricorn, if you found out something about somebody else and it was something that was like really bad and it's kind of like you saved yourself, you know, from a situation and you're like, thank God I got out of that like by the skin of my teeth. Thank God I did not move in that direction because oh my gosh I would have had hell to pay okay but for others of you and and now you're celebrating that but for others of you 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 did move in that direction and now somebody else found out about it they're leaving you and they're they're saying I don't want any more of this and now they're very happy and they're very successful because you know maybe you weren't truthful with them maybe you didn't tell them everything maybe you told them a half truth 
I am sensing for a lot of you Capricorns, they know exactly what you're hiding and, um, or you know exactly what they're hiding, but just kind of be aware that that energy is certainly out there. So what is the outcome for you regarding this energy? The outcome for you is the chariot. Now, as you can see, this is, immob this is immobilized. Now, if I would have had a little bit of a um, more positive type of energy coming from this card, um, I would definitely say that this is a victory. This is an absolute victory. But now I've got to kind of look at the other aspect of this card. So this card is basically saying everything is immobilized. Nothing is moving. The chariot has stopped. There is no forward movement. Um, someone is keeping their cards close to their chest. You could also be keeping your cards close to your chest. You're trying to find the balance between mind, body, spirit. And what's happening here, this could, this could be someone of Egyptian e uh, descent. This could have a Geminian person involved with it. It could have a Piscean person involved with this particular situation. A Cancerian person involved in this, in this situation. This could have been where somebody traveled to a party or you traveled to a party. And while you were at this party and while you were at this celebration, you got news that was very disappointing, that was very um, upsetting for you. And you're just very upset right now, Capricorn, for whatever reason. And this particular type of energy is one where if you found out somebody was doing something and you saved yourself burden and anxiety, you are victorious, you are happy. If you, if somebody else found out about something that you were doing behind the scenes that was not acceptable or was not, you know, um, ethical or something like that, then this is definitely them being victorious, getting in their car and saying, see ya, I'm out of here. I have so many people that I could that I could spend my time with and you are not one of them, okay? So either you could be saying that to them or they could be saying that to you. But this could also be because this regret could have come from, you know, you holding your cards close to your chest, you not standing up for yourself, okay? That could be what's going on. But I'm definitely sensing there was some type of, some type of event that you traveled to and while you were at this event feeling really, really good, thinking everything was just fine, that you got away with something or somebody was thinking that they got away with something, something came to light and all of a sudden, boom, there is this regret, this loss, this pain, this anxiety, this, this disappointment. And, um, and, and again, this, this may have happened while either, you know, you were at a party or somebody else was at a party. So please just kind of be aware of that on a more mundane level. Uh, this could just simply be, uh, Capricorn that maybe somebody spilled wine at your home or you spilled wine at somebody else's home, something like that. Um, this could have been a situation again where you were trying to rekindle a relationship. And as you were trying to rekindle that relationship, something from potentially your past kind of came back and kind of attached to you and that energy messed up the vibe and you chose you chose to make this decision to do something that was either not ethical or was not respecting, you know, the person that you were trying to rekindle a relationship with. And so what happened here is just loss, okay? And again, remember Capricorn, I always will speak to you like this is you feeling these feelings and you going through this energy. But again, this could be somebody else going through this energy. So I want to make sure that you understand it goes both ways. So as it relates to work life, as it relates to financial life, um, there could have been, maybe you were doing really well in finances, really busy, really well in finances, but then there was some type of loss. There was something that wasn't ready to move. There was something that wasn't ready to go forward. And so you're kind of standing at the ready and you're waiting. So I'm sensing for some of you Capricorns, you're waiting. And again, there is this particular decision that you made and now you are questioning that decision. So please be aware of that as well. So what is your advice, Capricorn? Journey. So your advice is by journey is basically saying that you have got to release your past. 
you have got to release negative energy. You have got to release negative toxic situations. You've got to release somebody that has attached themselves to you and is kind of demanding or is constantly around you. And, you know, you're being nice and you're being kind and you're being, you know, um, considerate and all of that. But this person is really bad for you. Okay. They're just really bad for you. And, um, this situation again is is simply coming up saying the advice here is to get rid of that baggage you must get rid of that baggage it's time for you to go okay capricorn now i would like to remind you if you haven't watched my uh chiron retrograde video i suggest you do that but um that chiron retrograde video uh the vision that i got with that if if some of you remember that you had until about july 10th to be able to solidify, you know, your soul, like your soulmate, to solidify a bond with a soulmate and to clear yourself of past baggage. Some of you did that. And some of you are so happy. Some of you are so happy and you are so victorious and you were like, yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. Some of you, however, did not release the past baggage. You kept talking to somebody that was toxic. They, um, they lead by their ego. They want to control a situation and they want to control you. Uh, they want to control a relationship with you. And it's really weighing on you right now. It, it may drive you to drink even. And um, basically what it is, is that if you did not catch up with your soul tribe or your soulmate, or you didn't recognize your soulmate, that soulmate is now gone they are likely to not come back, okay? They decided that, you know what? I found this out about this person. I cannot trust them. I cannot be with somebody I do not trust. I know that they are lying to me. I know what they're hiding. Um, I have evidence regarding what they're hiding. And I was lied to straight to my face. I was lied to through text. I was lied to through a phone call. I was lied to. I was I was being um, I was being uh, you know led by the led by the mouth or led by the chin or led by the nose. You know, and you could have been doing that to somebody, Capricorn, and now that person is gone, and now you're surrounded by all of these these people and these entities that just want to come in and take your energy, and they are getting ready to strike. Okay, if they haven't struck yet, they are getting ready to strike. So please be aware of that energy. The 10th has already passed. Many of you have already faced great loss. Others of you got out just in time. Many of you got very close to getting out just in time. But because you did not let past baggage go, because you did not put your foot down and draw a line in the sand, that past baggage caught up with you, and now you are facing great loss. Okay? Um, on August 26th, please remember, um, I believe it is August 26th, Saturn starts going direct again, I believe. And when that happens, Capricorn, Saturn is your ruler. Saturn has no time, nor does he have any, any care for anyone that he rules to be weak, okay? He does not like weak people. He wants people in his corner that are very strong, that are very, you know, that are very Capricornian. They don't give up. They're committed. They do the right thing. They're ethical. They, they tell the truth. They, you know, they abide by the rules and the laws. Okay. Saturn has gone retrograde for you for a reason. He released you from any outside pressure so that you could prove to him that you were who you said you were. Many of you proved it and many of you are going to face great abundance because of it. Many of you didn't prove it. Many of you got caught and now you face loss. And, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. If it's not you, I don't think it's many of you Capricorns out there at all, because if you're listening to this, you're aware. Okay. But you could know Capricorns around you that were not aware, that took a risk, that now they regret taking that risk. They, re re they regret making that decision. And now they're surrounded by these hyenas that are taking their energy, that are egotistical, that want to control them. They're, they're getting drained because of this energy, okay? And these Capricorns, 
did not learn the lesson and on August 26th finalized. Okay, some of you were in the middle. Okay, I suggest you move and you move quick. And I know that's not very good to tell Capricorns that, but it kind of is what it is. Okay, but you need to move quick to get whatever thing that happened here fixed. Because if you don't, after August 26th, you will face being stuck in the same exact situation for the next 14 years. Because Saturn is in your 12th house. Saturn is in your 12th house of psychic abilities, healing, research, hospitals, clandestine affairs, unconscious, subconscious, the past. Once Saturn leaves at the end of December, your feet will be held to the fire and Saturn is Kronos. And if any of you know Kronos, uh, Kronos is, um, you know, the, the, the god of time, basically. And in order to keep his control, he actually devoured and destroyed his own children. Okay? Because they were going to overthrow him. Saturn must maintain control right now. And he needs strong Capricorns to do that. Ethical Capricorns, hardworking Capricorns, you know, honest Capricorns, you know, diligent Capricorns, you know, of the right mind Capricorns. If that is you as a Capricorn, you are destined for greatness once Saturn moves into your sign. If you showed any weakness, if you showed any um, unethical behavior, if you lied, if you uh, manipulated a situation, if you were working from your ego side, you know, um, to, to, for your own gain and not getting rid of baggage, Kronos will destroy. And he has no qualms about pushing you down so that you don't get in his way. All right. Guys, many of you are facing great loss. It's already happened. You will know it. You will absolutely know it. You have until August 26th to really get something straight. But it is going to take a massive amount of effort on your part. Massive. And again, if you don't get it straight, you will face depression, anxiety, loss, um, heartache, all of that. All right, some of you are going through that right now. But again, some of you, and most of you I should say, have identified, become aware very quickly, and now you are moving towards your own spiritual abundance and your own path that will help you and assist you in whatever it is that you desire moving forward. All right, Capricorns, I hope you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Taurians. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Let's go ahead and let's get started on your B weeklies. So what are the general energies for Taurus? General energies for Taurus. What are the energies that are affecting that are affecting this general energy? This is what is affecting it. And what is the outcome of this energy? This is the outcome. And what is your advice? Taurus, what is your advice? This is your advice. All right, Taurus, what do we got going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? Taurus, you have the six of wands. This is beautiful. This is, this is victory. This is success. This is you standing in your integrity. This is you saying enough is enough. I have been through turmoil. I have been through conflict. I fought within myself. I fought outside of myself for my own integrity, for my own life, for my own well-being. And you are being celebrated. This is a celebration at work. You are being lauded. You are being, you are being looked at like you are the bomb.com. Okay. People are hoisting you up on their shoulders and basically saying, this is my coworker. I am proud of my coworker. I am proud of my colleague. I am proud of all that is coming through with this. I sit on my horse after a great battle 
literally sauntering into the city, looking around me and seeing people support me, love me, my tribe, my soul tribe, helping me move forward. As I have proved myself, those who surround me will prove themselves to me. This is a beautiful energy, or this is a beautiful energy, Taurus. Beautiful energy. You are successful, successful at work, successful in family, successful in friendships, and successful in love. This is gorgeous. For some of you Taurians out there, you might be showing somebody off uh, out in public, or somebody might be showing you off out in public. But you are victorious. So whatever it is that you went through, Taurus, it's coming around. You stood in your integrity. You were very calm. You were very much guarding yourself against any negative forces. And now you are the winner. So what do we have going on as it relates to the energies that are affecting the Six of Wands? Well, we have the Chariot. So this is all about, you've got victory times two. So whatever, if you had to let something go, Taurus, you're victorious. Just let it go. It was not worth it. It was not worth your time. It was not worth your energy. This could have um, some sort of connection to um, foreign people, foreign lands. Could be somebody from Egypt or, or whatever. Um, you know, Middle East, something like that, that type of energy. They may work in the health field. Um, uh, they may perform or you may be performing. You may be performing in another uh, area, Taurus, as well. Um, you may travel uh, to see someone so that you can show yourself off. That could be what's going on for some of you Taurians out there. This could be a Cancerian person, a Piscean person, or um, a Geminian person as well. And this person may work in the medical field or you may work in the medical field. But overall, there is victory here, Taurus. Congratulations. Looking good. And for some of you Taurians, this was you staying, like I said, standing in your integrity, not moving, not budging, saying, these are my requirements in a relationship. These are my requirements in my, in, in my job. These are my requirements in my spiritual life. These are my requirements in my family life. And I will be darned if I let anyone come in and destroy what I have worked so desperately to build from the ground up. It is strong, it is stable, and I will not sacrifice this for anyone or anything. So what is the outcome for this, uh, Taurus? Taurus, you do have the King of Pentacles, so the outcome for this with the King of Pentacles is someone of the Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Virgoan type of energy and the outcome of this is that I'm sensing for some of you, there could be an earth sign that is um, of great significance to you. This could be somebody who owns their own business. This could be somebody you work with. This could be, you know, anything like that. This could be home related, um, definitely home related. This could be transportation, you know, with a car, so on and so forth. And um, interestingly enough, the chariot did come up for the Capricorns, but it had a little bit of a different feel about it. But for you, Taurus, I, I, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing is, is good because uh, this is something that is going to bring potentially somebody in your life. It could be a romantic partnership that is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And um, it is because you stood your ground and you said, I will not go gently into that good night. I will stand up for my integrity and you can't knock me off my own pedestal that I put myself on because if I don't value myself, who will? All right. This is beautiful energy for even a promotion for some of you at work. This is beautiful energy for travel. Some of you might be paying to, to travel somewhere. Uh, you might be traveling to see somebody. You might be traveling to see an earth sign or an earth sign might be traveling to see you. But there's definite energy here of victory and success. So what do we have going on as far as your advice? Strategy. When you have strategy as advice, it is definitely advising you, um, Taurus, do not bend to the will of others if it does not serve your highest good. All right? You know, Taurus, you've you been there, you've done that. You do not need to deal with other people's BS and you do not need to deal with other people's crap. 
okay, or drama, or, um, you know, their, their past or their baggage. You're done with it. It's over. Your strategy in this particular situation, whether it's at work, whether it's in love, whether whatever it's in, your strategy may be to, for example, if, if you are in a situation that you've battled somebody or you've had a bad relationship issue or something like that, you decided to leave or whatever, your advice is strategy. Get out there. Get seen. Let this person see you out in public having a good time. Get seen in your car. Get seen traveling the world. Get seen with a masculine female or a male that is a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus showing you off, you showing them off. Because somebody, somebody lost you, Taurus, and I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm sensing it. Somebody lost you, and now you're going to show them exactly what you're worth and that you will never go through what you went through in the past with them again. All right, Taurus, I hope that you uh, like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hi, Virgos. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by Beast. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, Virgo, what do we got going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? General energies for Virgos. General energies for Virgos. There's your general energy. What do we have going on with how these, um, what energies are affecting you? What are the energies affecting this general energy? These are the energies affecting it. And what is the outcome of these energies, um, Virgo? Outcome of these energies. Here is the outcome. And what is your advice? Whoa, that card just fell out. There's your advice. Okay. So what do we got going on for the general energies for the Virgos for the next couple weeks? Wow, Virgos, the energies for you for the next couple weeks are absolute truth. Something has come to light. There's been an aha moment. There's something going on relative to the truth, relative to military action, relative to the military, relative to uh, success through truth, success through openness and honesty, okay? This is a double-edged sword, okay? So Virgos, please be careful. If you, if you are in a situation where you need to tell the truth regarding something, you darn well better tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, okay? You have to. There is, there is no other way to go about this, okay? It is very important. There's been this level of confusion around you or around somebody around you. And because of the truth, now you are victorious or somebody around you is victorious. This could also be surgery energy. So there might be surgeon energy around some of you Virgos as well. So please be aware of this. And if you are a Virgo that is, that is you know, a surgeon or you know a surgeon, then this particular type of energy is very successful energy and your surgeries are going to go well. Everything is going to go well. I mean, it's a really, really a, a, an, an awesome beacon of success. But on the flip side, just be aware of the truth and remember the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Somebody's words could have been very cutting towards you, Virgo, for whatever reason. So please be aware of that as well. So what do we have going on as it relates to what energies are affecting the Ace of Swords? The energies affecting the Ace of Swords is the uh, Six of Swords. So in this particular case, the Six of Swords lends itself to moving away from choppy and uh, uneven waters into calmer, more serene waters. So this could have been something where maybe you needed to go, maybe you needed to travel somewhere for a surgery. Uh, this could be where maybe you're going on vacation with somebody that you love and you care for, and this is bringing victory for you. For others of you, you might be, um, you've learned great lessons from how you communicate 
and other people have learned great lessons from you regarding how they communicate because of your response to that particular type of energy. But overall, you are really, um, you decided to leave something that was not serving you. And because you left something that was not serving you, and you kept the people that really supported you close, and you got rid of those nasty people that were not supporting you, you are now victorious. And this may have had to have happened through some level of truth, some level of really getting to the nitty gritty of a situation. Because, you know, right now, Virgos, you just don't have time for BS. This is, this is a no BS card. So this is definitely something going on here. But you might have to travel for work. And when you travel for work, it's very successful for you. Traveling for love, very successful for you. Traveling with your family, this is also very successful for you because maybe you're traveling with your family so that you can find your peace and your calm. Okay, I just heard for some of you there was a divorce or there was a separation and you are taking your child to another location or your family to another location and you know your, your ex-husband or your ex-wife is kind of over here and you're deciding to leave and go with somebody else somewhere else. So that could be what's going on for some of you Virgos out there. So how do these energies, um, what, what's the outcome of these energies? The outcome of these energies is the uh, King of Cups. The King of Cups is a water sign, very, very psychic, very, very um, aware of their emotions, okay? They know when to put the walls up. They know when to be loving. They know when to be kind, okay? So for some of you Virgos out there, you've got a uh, masculine female or a, a male water sign, which would be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this, I'm, I'm seeing two areas of water here. So some of you might be traveling over water or some of you might be having a discussion with a water sign about travel. So that could certainly be coming up as well. Uh, this person is, they like to do things by the book. They like to make sure that all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, which is great for you, Virgos, because you love that as well. And what, what this does is, even though there might be some weird emotions underneath this particular situation, they are staying very calm, very collected, and they're not letting anything shake their faith in this particular endeavor. So this could be at work, and this could be in love, and this could be you know, in business, in your finances, but overall, there is victory here because you decided to leave the past in the past and you started to move forward and you really started to embrace those people that support you because they love themselves and they love you instead of people that support you, but they do it because of their own ego. So that is good, good for you, Virgo is good for you. So what do we got going on for your advice? Protection. So basically, it's the first chakra, Archangel Michael. This is all about security. This is all about protection. This is all about um, making sure that those that you love are protected, making sure that those that love you, um, you know, that they're protecting you, okay? This is very, very important. So I'm sensing for some of you Virgos, like a small percentage of you, but for some of you Virgos, there may have been a situation where um, the truth was revealed, and somebody decided to leave you and now, and maybe you said something that you shouldn't have said. And because you said something that you shouldn't have said, because remember, we've got the two, the, the, the double-edged sword here. Because you, because you thought you were victorious with something and you spread it out to the world and somebody found out about it and they heard about this, what you revealed, and it did not sit well with them. They're actually leaving you now. And now they are in a situation where they've put their walls up because there's so much emotional turmoil that is going on right now that they have got to protect themselves and they have really no other choice. Now again, Virgo, this could be going on with you as well. So please just be aware of that. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. I hope it helped you out in some way. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.